welcome back to a new video. In December, I posted what I eat in a week and so many of you really enjoyed that video. So I thought it would be kind of nice to share with you guys what I eat in a week in the new year. Bex and I have enjoyed our holidays a lot. We were like cooking so much like food and like desserts. Matcha recipe testing, which was mostly like desserts as well. So we kind of wanted to start the year fresh, kind of get like back to track. It is Monday morning. My day today is planned. And I'm just gonna make like a quick light breakfast, some like eggs with avocado. And yeah. I was craving something savory for today. So I'm going to make sauteed zucchini with scrambled eggs. I start washing the zucchini and I cut it in smaller pieces. I find it such an easy veggie to always have in your fridge because it's so easy to cook. I crack two eggs and one egg white and whisk it into a bowl and whisk everything together until it's a little foamy. I add some salt and pepper to taste. Grab a medium sized pan and add one tablespoon of ghee. Then I add the zucchini and cook them until they're golden brown. I lower the heat and add the eggs and mix everything until the eggs are almost fully cooked. I transfer it to a plate and add half an avocado and some fresh herbs like mint and dill. Little fat on top and it's ready. It is 1.20 right now and we had literally calls all morning. So very often Jesse and I also cook for the boys. <laughs> Otherwise you don't eat, right? I'm gonna make some chicken lettuce wraps just because Jason's like trying to eat a little less carbs. I'm gonna do it with some ground chicken that we got from the Japanese store, some mushrooms, green onions, and maybe some avocado. Did you just bring all of this in our apartment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had some like noodles left over, make kind of like a stir fry noodle thing. So we have lettuce wraps here with like a chicken filling with like onion. We have like some salted mushrooms, some veggies with egg, some avocado. So very easy to share, very healthy and delicious. It took us literally 20 minutes. I want to make a quick and easy dinner. So let's start prepping the veggies. I have some kabocha squash left from last weekend and I'm going to cut up some extra cauliflower. Grab a baking tray and add a baking sheet. I add the cauliflower in here and I season them with cumin, salt and pepper and I pop it in the oven. Add the kabocha squash to a steamer. If you don't have this at home, I would highly recommend it because it's so easy to use and is a very healthy way of preparing vegetables. I close it and I let it sit for 15 minutes. So let's start making the marinade for the honey salmon. I cut up one garlic loaf in small pieces, add this to a bowl and add soy sauce, add a couple tablespoons of honey, squeeze half a lime and mix everything together. I add this to the salmon and let this sit for 15 minutes. Then I add it into the oven for about 15 and I grab two plates with brown rice from my rice cooker. You hungry? Yeah. I add the salmon, grilled cauliflower, and the steamed kombucha. Dinner is ready. Very easy, well-balanced meal with some wholesome carbs, veggies, and a protein. And then I'm going to add this one. It's kind of like a mix of seeds and seaweed. I actually got this at Trader Joe's. Breakfast. Our better Nutribullet is broken. <laughs> I thought you said you ordered one. Yeah, I ordered one, but it takes like a day. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my food processor. And I have some overnight oats in the fridge, which I made last night. Here. Overnight oats, we 
the chia seeds, banana, and cashew butter, and I made myself a protein smoothie because I did leg day and I'm so hungry today. Ah oh, no! Go oh, upstairs and clean yourself up. I got this. <laughs> this is all caught on camera. It's the best. This always happens to me, and normally it's matcha, but now it's my smoothie. So it was also the last avocado, so now I miss out on the smoothie. I'm angry. You you guys don't go up and see angry sound like this. It gets angry when she's doing it. I'll clean up. Today's lunch will be with all the leftover things I have in my fridge, so I can do some groceries tonight. I cut up one lemon and add baby kill to a bowl. I sprinkle some olive oil on top and squeeze the lemon. This is my go-to salad dressing. Very simple but delicious. Add salt and pepper and some brown rice from the rice cooker I made yesterday. I add the furry kake, <laughs> I think this is how I pronounce it, a seaweed topping I got from Trader Joe's on the rice and a little rice vinegar to give it some extra flavor. I quickly fry an egg in a pan. I add some leftover kombucha squash from last night to the salad and the egg. I went to do some groceries at Trader Joe. I normally do a combination of this store and the local Japanese store because the quality of products is a little better. For tonight I will be making a Mexican bowl, one of my favorite dishes. Let's start cutting up the veggies. Start with chopping up one onion in small pieces, zucchini and red bell pepper. Heat up a pan with olive oil and add half of the onions in here. Add the zucchini and red bell pepper and cook until golden brown. I also cook up some chicken with taco seasoning. For some healthy fats, I'm going to make a guacamole with avocado, salt, pepper, lime juice. And dinner is ready to be assembled. Taco station, I got some salad. This is some leftover black beans, some veggies, cucumber, guacamole. And of course, um, chicken. And this is dinner for tonight. When I don't know what to eat, I make a taco bowl or I make tacos. I have my morning matcha every day. I start with this around like 7 a.m. I'm just so much more like energized. They so feel like more focused and I feel like just ready to get stuff done. So today, Sammy's gonna come over and we're filming new workout videos for YouTube and also a wellness platform. So that's gonna be very exciting. I'm going to make a quick protein smoothie to start the day with. See you guys for lunch then. So obviously we have like a full full main day. We still need to shoot two more workouts. So we just ordered like some sweet green. Mm -hmm. So I got a kale salad with roasted chicken, parmesan chips, tomato, and like Caesar dressing. I made myself a little snack bowl before dinner. Hummus, cucumber, and carrots. So we decided to order some food for tonight too because we're done at like 6, 7. Ah, there it is! Okay, so I got food from a place called Valle, which is from Jolina. And I got, <laughs> I got for a family package because I'm so hungry, but I think it is a lot. Oh my god. I mean, we had last night Mexican bowl. Tonight tacos. Oh yeah. Oh my god, this looks amazing. I don't know how we're all gonna eat this, but otherwise I'm just gonna eat this for breakfast too tomorrow. Grilled chicken. 
beans, rice, tacos. I, by the way, I really love this paper bag. Very strange that I love that so much, but cute. This is grilled cauliflower and this is salad. I mean, I don't know. This is really for a whole family. I just got mostly like veggies, beets, and a tiny little bit of chicken. Okay, it is 12 p.m. right now, so I didn't have breakfast yet. I did like a light Pilates workout and obviously had like my morning matcha. I thought for lunch to make a vegetarian falafel wrap. I had quite some like fish and like chicken and stuff this week and I always try to do one day a week kind of more vegetarian slash vegan. So I think for tonight we'll be making a curry. It'll be really delicious. So let's start cooking. Let me show you first how I make today's dressing. I add two tablespoons tahini to the mini food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can also just use a bowl and a whisk if your tahini is very soft. I squeeze the lemon and I add one garlic clove, some sesame oil, maple syrup, water and salt and mix it. So let's start prepping everything for the wrap. Whoa! Whoa! That is weird. What is this? Wow, this looks like a feast. So colorful. So that lunch for Jesse, Jason, and me. Looks delicious. One! Do it again. Oh, oh you missed it. It's so small, this pistachio, I didn't even see it. Yay, you got it! It's disgusting, but so good. fun to do. So, as you guys know, like we were doing this whole elimination diet thing and kind of trying to find out what was upsetting my stomach so badly. And I recently found out what it was. It's spicy food and it's literally a tiny bit of spice completely upsets my stomach, which I find so annoying because if you've been following me for a long time, I love curries and I love spicy curries. So today I wanted to make like a vegan dish and I often find like vegan curries so delicious and easy to make. So I'm actually going to try a new one. A vegan sag panar with tofu and it looks like super creamy with cauliflower. I'm actually going to pop up the recipe in the description too. So you guys can just like follow along there and yeah, I hope it's gonna turn out well. I prepared all the ingredients here. So I have like fresh spinach and cauliflower and all these things. This is a good little tip to always have your ingredients already like measured out like this before you start cooking because it just makes the whole process of making food so much easier and it just becomes less messy and stuff. Learned this in the kitchen because I'm not mad not very organized myself. So while I'm cooking, I always like to listen to music or a good podcast. And my headphones from Urbanista are perfect for this. You've probably seen me using these quite often because I love them so much. They have noise cancelling, so I don't hear Max when he's on the phone and they fit really well. They also charge fast and the battery lasts for a long time. If you guys use code wellness25, you can get 25% off their website at the moment. I will put the link in the description down below. Today I'm listening to the How I Built This podcast, which is one of my favorite series. Update, so I never made this curry thing before. The consistency is kind of weird, like it's very thick. When I'm trying out new recipes, I often screw up dishes. Things do not turn out like the recipe and that's completely fine. I don't know. Color looks amazing though. I think coconut milk or almond milk in there. They blend in with the tulips, this dish. You see they're like green and yellow. Thank you. 
No, this is not good. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, this curry was not big of a success, so we're going to add some coconut milk, see if that's going to be any better. This actually looks really nice. Okay, so <laughs> dinner's ready, a little bit different than expected. But I have some brown rice and this is like the curry with the tofu. Honestly, I'm going to link the turmeric curry I used to make with cauliflower, which is 10 times better than this one. But you know what? It's a good dinner for now. Possible, just have to wait. You feel me? <laughs> yes. Oh, yummy. Erwan burritos, they're both the same. Last time, Max wanted to share one. We shared one, but I can eat one on my own. I was in a Japanese store and I texted Max mom and I was like, I'm gonna learn every week a new Japanese recipe. Cause half of the stuff I know in the Japanese store, it looks very good, but I have no idea what it is. So she gave me this recipe for a hot pot, which we're going to make today. So we're gonna, Jason, and Jesse are here tonight. So we have so many veggies. Here we're making like a broth. And here I'm making kabocha squash. And then we also bought this. Vegetable pancakes. You can just pop these in the oven. I think it's gonna be really good, but these are already pre prepped. take pictures and got a glass of wine. Mm. We got some beef, we got rice noodles and some seaweed. And of course enjoyed watching this like what I eat in a week hope it got some like new max <laughs> recipe inspirations I'm always still waiting for the day max starts cooking for me again <laughs> um, anyway don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and follow me for many more like healthy recipes and let me know if there are any dishes you're like I would love to see Sonic cook this